So once you've downloaded the app from the App Store, you'll have access to all of your music here, ready to use it, view it, do what you want with it. But what we want to do is upload a brand new song because that's what we can do here using the app. So let's hit the upload button and get ready to do this. Now, the first thing we get here is all of the services. We can decide where we want this to send it out. Now, my recommendation is why not send it everywhere? I'm going to send it to Snapchat. Yes, I own the publishing for this song, so we're good to go. Number of songs, it's a single or you can select a number of songs if you're releasing an EP or an album. Has it been previously released? No, because we haven't. Now, I've got the Musician Plus plan, which means I've actually got two different artists, and I highly recommend the Musician Plus plan. It has some other cool goodies, which I've got other videos here on the channel all about as well. But we're going to select my second artist, Righty Doki, here. You can see here that we're already set up. If you're not set up on Spotify and Apple Music and YouTube Music, don't worry. If it's your first release, they'll actually create those Spotify artists and Apple artists pages for you. You don't have to do a thing and you don't have to be subscribed to Spotify Premium or anything like that. Artist already on Instagram. Uh, no, no Ronnie Doki is not on Instagram. Doesn't have a profile. Uh, if I was releasing as me, I would say yes. And the artist isn't on Facebook. This is kind of my undercover, underground artist that we have here. Let's go with the release date. Well, when should we release this? Now, here's the thing. If you want to be able to get onto playlists and you want to promote your song and you want to have like an anticipatory thing with it's going to be out on this day, then you can add all that here. But I'm just going to give this a week. You do want to give it at least a few days, otherwise it won't have enough time. You can choose the release time here for Spotify only, what time your release date should go live in Spotify and other non-Spotify source will be midnight-ish in each country. So why don't we make this uh, 6 a.m.? because I'm an early bird. Your time synchronization here, let's make it 6 a.m. in New York and then send it out everywhere at that same time. Yeah, let's let people pre-order it. Now, the pre-order, again, is a premium feature on the Musician Plus plan. We'll allow pre-ordering from today's date. The record label, again, Musician Plus a premium feature. I've got Studio Live Today Records as a name because who doesn't want to own their own record company? We'll select a genre. Now, this is a bit of a different song for me. Uh, it is an electronic dance chip tune 80s style so let's see what we're going to go with here i think electronic probably has to be the first we'll go electronic as the first one and the electronic sub genre so let's go funk soul disco <laughs> just for fun do we have a secondary genre genre here let's go dance I've got to create an album cover. So let's go and hit the pause button and create an album cover and come back and throw it in. So here's the album artwork. We're going to tap on that one to select it and hit the done button. And that's going to throw this in as our album art. Your song title. This song is simply titled Boom Boom, uh, which I know there are many other songs called Boom Boom, but uh, I'm very unimaginative. You can add featured artists and there's all the details there. In fact, I've got a whole page full of details at studiolivetoday.com slash distrokid if you want to check out all of the different things you can do with featured artists and radio edits but in this case it's neither of those now i've used the mixier service which is distrokid's mastering service and i've got my final mastered file that i've just downloaded so to upload that all i need to do is hit the choose file button and find the correct file which is right here this is the mixier file that I mastered. So that's going to select it there and this will be the file that it uploads for us to play. Now double check your files folks, make sure that they are the correct ones. You really don't want to have to go back and edit things. Songwriter, I wrote this song, I did indeed. I can put my name here, it is Peter. If you've got a middle name you put it there and your surname there. You do, it is a good idea to use your real name there if you want to get the songwriting credits and get yourself paid. Explicit lyrics, no. It's not a radio edit because it's always clean and it's always been clean. The song does contain lyrics, so it's not an instrumental. Let the streaming services decide where they start it. We'll make it 99 cents. Again, that's a premium feature. You can make it 69 99 or or $1.29 if you would like to, if you're in the Musician Plus plan. All of the optional extras, I'll let you go through. You can hit pause and take a look at what these are. And these ones as well. I don't use any of these, but if you would like to, go ahead and explore those and see what you would like to use. But there's basically additional options that you have in there if you would like to add those in. And any of those that you'd like to add in, you simply need to tick on those and it will add that. Now, my total is going to be $0 because I want a plan. And that's the beautiful part of DistroKid. You can upload an unlimited number of songs, EPs and albums for just one yearly subscription. And you can save yourself 7% off your first year on any 
Media Stroke Kids subscription using the link in the description. So we're just going to select all of these. Again, hit pause if you'd really like to find out all the things you're agreeing to. Your firstborn doesn't have to be provided. It's all good. So we're going to select all of those. And then the final thing we need to do is hit this big blue done button and uh, our song release is going to be happening. It will upload our album artwork and then it's going to start uploading the track which will take a little bit longer depending on your connection. And 100% it is done and we're all done ready to upload another song. If you want to check the status of your upload just tap on the music button and there you can see that it's going to be processing this single. You'll get emails as the processing continues and then once everything's approved your song is pushed out and it will be available on all of the platforms. And as one final check I've logged in using the web version of DistroKid and there you go you can see the yellow dot there everything is ready to go and once everything's been approved that'll turn green and on the release date your single is out there to the world